are you getting close to on your fitness journey, like to finally sharing it or? Well, yeah, I, I have to be done in six weeks. Six more weeks. Six more weeks. I, I mean, like I've, been doing, I've been doing. I've been doing. I've been doing. I've been doing for 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 four and a half months. So, but is yours the longest transformation out of anybody who's no? Done everyone's the been around five to six months, right? Oh, yeah. I guess because you. Just, this is like just, your second stab at it. I just feel like you. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Uh, I would say yeah, sure. Since okay. it's my second stab <laughs> at it, I would. I would say I've been doing it for. Are you seven go, months? Are you, eight months? Are you throwing yourself a little like party when it happens? Um, I don't. I don't want. I don't want to do a party specifically because of this. I but I will definitely let loose for sure. Then the first weekend after that photo shoot, I'll probably let myself go. Yeah, for sure. Okay, as you should treat yeah. yourself. But mm -hmm. six weeks. I feel like Christmas is in six weeks. Um, uh, to me, holidays is not like a something I'm worried about. Right, but how when many more I, weeks I, do we I'm have? I'm more in the worried year? about like weddings. Weddings is like a problem. Oh, uh, right. And that's and the last two, yours, my brother's, that was I set you back. That set me back. That set me back a lot. Like you weren't able to work out the next day, or like you couldn't work out for days because you were still hungover. Uh, no, no, it's no. It was more just the not having a routine, not sticking to my routine. Mm. I just did my last DEXA, and I, and what you got worse. I I gained point. One percent. Get off the scale. <laughs> Get on the scale. Get, Get off, off the, the scale. scale. When I was losing like four to five percent every month, right? I didn't lose anything this uh, last month because of me. Be just no, just because I wasn't sticking to my routine. <laughs> Sorry. How much does that ring weigh? Uh, <laughs> less than more you. More than point one percent <laughs> body fat. But yeah, but that's good. Me, that's so me, exciting, I, though. No, which makes just makes it a challenge for the next six weeks. Now I have to like now I have to be super super strict. Full tilt. Mm -hmm. I know when we walked in, Zayn has an entire meal plan on the refrigerator. That looks like I thought it was like a, a warranty sticker that like gave you the <laughs> oh, specifics yeah, like about the like I was like, damn, is this like a brand new refrigerator? No, it's, it's um I'm on a I'm on like a carb cycle. The mini Diet doesn't right look now. fun. I would say this one has is a little bit more fun than I what I was doing I'm, because I'm eating something different every day. But why don't you add like a add like a turkey, a little ch or get the I, seasonal, the, it make is, it a little. It I know, is. no, I mean like a clip art. You know when we would get uh, like the calendar that would tell you like the cafeteria food and what you're gonna eat every day. Yeah, that looks like death. I, know, that menu. I don't like I don't like all the words. And trust me, I wish there were pictures too that'd make me like. You should do it like a one of those advent calendars. Yes, where you like peel it back and it's a. It's oh, a, it's a surprise it's meal. A meal that's already wrapped. You know, like a meal plan. So Brilliant. every every meal is a surprise. Like I pull it out. Oh, I get to have one pair. Yeah, you're like, or it's like a diet pill. It's the first <laughs> trim spa. <laughs> Where's Where my accelerator? Where my accelerator I go? I swear yours was just. It was on just me. here. Am I going crazy? I was touching it the entire time. Did you put it on the side or something? <laughs> All right, I got it. Cherry lime, my baby. Ooh, cherry, cherry lime. lime. Cherry lime, my baby. That is the best flavor. It is. I it will. Is. I will die on that hill for cherry lime made accelerator. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Let's uh, roll the intro. We got a lot to discuss today. Mm. Mm. You ready, baby? Yep. Let's do it. It's, it's common tall, baby. baby. Woo! <laughs> Mm. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered, baby. I'm Mariah. I'm still here. Oh, <laughs> I'm uh, Matt. I'm, I'm Zane or Heath. Oh, no. I, I only said that because I look like Mariah today when she doesn't oh. straighten her hair. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a wig right now uh, from my other, from my costume from the other night. But I realized that it looks like Mariah's hair. It, it actually, does. The, the the longer you've been in it, the more used to it I'm getting. Yeah, and it feels like genuine. Yeah, Yo, you could have rocked some like Jerry curls back in the day for sure. Guys, who am I? I'm a ring your neck. <laughs> Who's the difference on? Hey guys, who, guys, who am I? Who am I? Wait, who is this, bro? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> technically, it's Halloween today or tomorrow's Halloween. I'm so, so stoked. I, and I still feel in the spirit. Matt's got his spirit Halloween. Uh, Do you like this? Of, did you get I it? I love it. Did you get it from spirit? Uh, no, it's from dumb good. They sell, they have the best like clothes and uh, they sent this to me and uh, <laughs> I yeah, love it. you look like a walking advertisement for them. I like it. it so much fun. It's scary. And what are you supposed to be Heath? Um, An asshole. 
Yeah, I put my hat backwards today. Yeah, I saw that. It's my first a little one. different. Yeah, you know, I wanted to switch it up, shock the system a bit. Yeah, yeah. Show your hairline a little bit. You want to yeah, cover your I hair, can, but show it. Now I can time. finally get a little bit coming through the front. Oh, yeah. there you Before, go. Before it used to just be skin in this <laughs> giant head. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so it was. I, you know, I'm. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. We had uh, quite a Halloween weekend this past weekend. Um, it was And we, we had a lot going on. We The first night, we went to David's Halloween- uh, Halloween t- Town, Town Bash. Ba- Halloween Town Bash? Yes. And I thought like, oh, it's going to be like, I thought he just named that the party. I didn't think he was actually going to like go full tilt into the Halloween Town theme. Wait, yeah. the only thing I saw Halloween Town was the, the cab. The cab with uh, the t- the taxi driver, but he had the whole uh, cake. Someone made an entire Halloween Town cake. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, it was like a city they had hall the whole from Halloween Town. Oh, I did not see that. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, that was a pretty good vibe. And they had a uh, oh, I don't know. There were a bunch of like ghouls and statue people. And I uh, that. we we showed up. We were at my house because we were getting ready, doing our little last minute makeup for our costumes. And we showed up late. And as we're going up the hill, we hear the Sanderson sisters <gasps> closing off. As so- you missed it? As, yes. we're, as we're like walking up, because we had to walk all the way down from like the stop sign. They were singing their last song and we were so upset that we missed it. Dude. They it, sounded amazing. When I got we there, uh, I got there like pretty early, right when it started. I yeah. just wanted to make sure I got in, no hassle and everything. And you know, you know, you're seeing all your friends, everyone's wearing costumes. I saw them and I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys ki- are killing it. And they're they like really talking to their character. character. I see, but I thought they were somebody's friends. I'm like, who invited you oh, guys? Oh, like they were just like, they were, they were a uh, part. I'm like, talking to them for like 10 minutes and I'm like doing bits from like uh, Hocus Pocus. Right, and right. they're like coming back with even more bits from the movie. And I'm like, they're you really, guys are really. Oh, and they were doing the whole. <laughs> like yeah. they were walking in, through the party like that the entire night. Like, like in unison. I'm like, it was damn, amazing. they're good. But they're also like, they, they were paid to be there so i think they just like, right it, so they, they were hired but they yeah, they had to have been the best sanderson sisters in the entire la 100 percent. they were in really the good state yeah. oh my gosh <laughs> in, the in the state, state. <laughs> in the whole west coast or region yeah, they, sound, they sounded great oh yeah man i wish you guys saw that oh, yeah but oh, sorry I heath and i that. were bu- heath and i were busy um getting lit with our uh euphoric seltzers mm. that we were drinking Ooh. oh you yeah. guys were on some like uh, Baby, heath and i have been on that kava gr- <laughs> we've been on that kava <laughs> Train. Yeah, baby. That shit is crazy. It's crazy. I was chugging it. I, I chugged two and I was feeling on top of the world. I was feeling high. I was feeling drunk. My it, man was on I, one. He was feeling good. And it's just, it's these seltzers that are non alcoholic and they're. I, yeah, I, I remember say I had you, one. You tried one on I had, our bonus episode. But then I got to do a double like chug and fully see Matt, how I it's feel. It's crazy. I remember going to Heath. I'm like, you got any more? Like, he, I, he, oh, got, he got addicted. It was, like I, it was like I was drunk. I you swear. Can, but you can't drive on them, right? Definitely not. No. Okay. No, no, no. I, I, I wouldn't drive. Okay, yeah. I think, I think t- it says it on there. Like, do not operate a vehicle. Well, no, no. I think it says drink responsibly. I think when it says drink responsibly, it I think implies. that automatically means that you shouldn't be <laughs> operating. I give me some heavy machinery. Or, you tell me, Mariah, you tell me, was I acting, like, even before we left, because or not before we left, sorry. I drank like one in, in the, the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning, I drank E Fork Seltzer. No, you just, like, you had that, uh, that itch. Because you came up to me, and you know how, like, somebody will ask you for something, be like, Yo, yeah. let me get another one. You yeah. like, yeah, just give me one second. Like, I'll get it. <laughs> yeah. I was like in the middle of like doing things. He came up, he touched me. He's like, no, no, give can, it I get, <laughs> can, I, can I get it? Mikey. I was yeah. like, all right, all right. Hook me up. Would, it, would you consider those as healthy? Like if you. I would say it's a better alternative. It's better than drinking. alcohol, right? I mean, I don't, I, I wouldn't say one is better than the other. I'm sure it's not good for you as well. But if you had one of those and you felt good for the entire night, I would much rather do that than drink. 15 beers yeah what about self-confidence you know? do you feel a state of like oh 100 you see a state of euphoria i really? just i just feel mm-hmm. like calm like normally like i i get kind of like overwhelmed and worked up in like a big party situation like that or i i i don't really f- yeah feel the urge to like go out of my bubble and talk to people with right. that i'm just like okay i'm cool i'm good i'm chilling i feel good hmm. okay yeah. like it, it gets the edge off you know and i, I remember throughout the night i was looking everywhere and that was the first time in a really long time, in like maybe five, six, seven years, where I felt like I was truly at a Halloween party. Because 
for all the years that I've been out here, every Halloween party that I've been to, it just felt like uh-huh. this, like another party in this fucking city. It just didn't. There's feel a lot like, of hit and misses, especially yeah, with Halloween. But people it think- really, truly felt like I was in a Halloween movie. Like yeah. I was, like yeah. I was on set. We were shooting a Halloween movie, and this is where and and while wow, they did a really good job here, the temperature the was really nice that night too. Yeah, it wasn't too hot. It didn't get it, too stuffy. Wasn't uh-huh. it? Wasn't it like a little chilly? Not oh, yeah. a little chilly, it was, but it like was breezy. It was nice and cool. Yeah. Nice breeze. Which and made the it entertainment feel more like it with the Sanderson sisters. That was a treat. And then there was an opener before the main act, and the opener was little kiss. Little kiss. And it was oh, were, little kiss. They were so good. Were they really playing those instruments, or were they like? I think fake they were. Playing? I don't I, think I, they I, were. I, couldn't. I could hardly see them. <laughs> I, 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 no, I think no. I think they. they I think they play. They do. They they rock because yeah. they were they were doing sound check there before. They were right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you they, think they were doing high check or? or <laughs> <laughs> what does that even uh, mean? Like, well, because you know high check before you get on a ride. Like, oh. come on. <laughs> I get what you just wanted to slip that one in there. <laughs> he would have liked it. He would have liked it. Um, I really enjoyed Little Kiss, though. They were really great. OK, so did anybody else see Blueface come into the party before? Um, One, I don't know who Blueface is yeah, at I don't all, but I, I, everything I posted on my Instagram story of Snoop Dogg. Uh, jamming out blue on stage everyone huge. from like my high school was like that's blue face blue face is on stage with him yeah well, well what does he sing a his song? biggest one is tatiana oh that's blue oh face? oh bust down yeah you want to see bust down tatiana i did not know that was blue face i didn't even know who sang blue that song. face baby so would, is he like a one hit wonder or is like he he has no, a lot he's, of he's big really hits big. we might have a blue face army coming after us <laughs> <laughs> oh did, uh, is he like have a cult like cult fan base i he, mean um, people just really like him like he has a like a good personality um i've seen like a couple bits of like uh podcast interviews like ah him. okay well, um, he was part of he was part of Snoop Do- uh, Snoop Do- <laughs> Snoop Dogg's Snoop crew, Double G. right? He performed. That was incredible. That was so sick. Everybody I thought was Blueface so hyped. was going to perform with him up there, but he just like hung out. I uh, think he was, no, no, not for free. I think he just happened to come to the party. Right, rolling Snoop in his posse. Saw him through and was like, "Yo." Come up on stage and hang out. Oh, you don't think they arrived together? No, because uh, he was there way before Snoop. And they had that like that. What was that like? Uh, was there like a chimpanzee on stage? Did they? Oh yeah. Well, it was Wait, like that. Really? It was like it was that like a uh, blunt NFT. smoking. Ch- yeah, look at that. Like oh, an ape. Yeah. oh, was it a board ape? Yes, it w- it was a board ape. It was, was like was smoking it. a blunt. Damn, That's I can't right. believe they're still trying to push that shit. It's not. Yo, <laughs> it's not I'm coming back. An Stop actual trying. chimpanzee because uh, Jace Prehistoric. Uh, Jace Pence were there. was there, so I thought he had a chimpanzee on stage. There were stage. tons of snakes at that party. I didn't. There's Matt, no way. I didn't see no, one. They're not missing one. You know what I mean. You right. don't just pass around that many snakes at a party like that. They're just looking at that box. And not bo- one person is just like, I'm going to take this one home. They're looking at that box going one, two. Because how many did we come with? Because me, because <laughs> me seven, eight years ago would have taken that home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would have taken that home. And I know nobody would have known. I took it home either. You can't even keep a jewel when you bring it to a party. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> exactly. You're passing that thing. It's gone. Yeah, it's, that's it. It's so funny going through pictures the next day, how many people like how many people you see that were there that like you just had no idea yeah oh yeah because you can't recognize them in their costume no no just how big and packed it was just oh. how big and packed it was there was there was a good 20 people i went through picture. i was like they were there it's like <laughs> no way how did i not see them i just didn't see them when there's food when people are eating when everyone's eating a certain food i didn't see that food i wish i saw it when i was there mm-hmm. the snakes too i didn't see one snake over there Mm. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, SeatGeek. Apologies in advance for losing my voice. I was screaming my butt off at the Texas Tech game. And um, the only way I got there was obviously through uh, SeatGeek, baby. Exactly. And you can find over 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports games, festivals, and more. Yes, and with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. You're not going to find a better deal anywhere else, honestly. And with artists like Drake, the Jonas Brothers, Post Malone, and the 1975 all on tour right now, you're not going to want to miss it. So they take all the tickets across the web and put it all in one place to make sure you're getting the best deal. And each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means it's a good deal, and red means it's not the best deal. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets 
tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know we got you covered. So make sure to use code UNFILTERED for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure to click the link in our description to download the app today. Thank you so much, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. But can we address like the big elephant in the room of something that went down at there the party? There was an elephant there? I'm telling you, man, these fucking animals. <laughs> these costumes no, are crazy. No, I did not see this one. No, I mean, this, this, like, I didn't know about it until the next whole day when someone te uh, texted it. In oh, the I saw it that night. Chat. Uh, you're talking about the, you're talking about the, um, oh, was the, that little boy hit, Jack? The fight? There was a kid named uh, Jack Doherty that, um, good little Irish was, name. was there. He was, it looked like he was, or he live streams. He's, he was streaming the whole thing, or he is, he's a streamer, right? Yeah, like a live, yeah, you yeah, live he's a streamer. IRL. IRL live streaming. Yeah, so he was streaming, and the only footage I saw was Corinna and Jess like yelling at this big dude, which was uh, Jack Security, and then like five seconds later, I barely heard what they were even fighting about. I didn't even know what they were fighting about, but then he just socks one of Corinna's friends, and he just goes down. I'm like, holy shit. This, and this had to have been like <laughs> 10 minutes Right after, because I was talking to the three of them. Uh -huh. so I was like, there's no way it happened like before that because he looked he looked fine. And yeah. Corinna in the video is saying that she didn't want to be on the stream yeah. and was getting on to Jack for like yeah, provoking was, her or trying to get like a reaction out of her. I was wondering why there was so, like just somebody even just streaming the whole time. It's I was just, that was a little funny to me or a little weird. I but. may sound like such a millennial. I, it doesn't make sense in my mind that people can like walk around streaming like with a good camera. But that, well, we just like uh, I understand wait, well, I mean, streaming on your phone, but I'm like, how are they hooking up the camera? It's it's a backpack the, rig. Oh, is it? So a lot of people will run like you do like the whole backpack thing with it with like you like a mobile Wi-Fi spot you, kind and of you thing? have like backup batteries, so it's constantly. I'm sure somebody is already trying to sue this guy, right? I think they I saw something that he got arrested that night. Oh, he got arrested. The bodyguard I'm did. Pretty sure. Dude, uh, <laughs> there's, I think I there's, saw it. you can't have more evidence in one video than this entire clip right here. Th Cause then he, he punched somebody else like, in, like this isn't recently, first, right? I, he has, another, it's not his first offense. Yeah. This bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah. He one time hit like a girl. So then, okay. I don't want to be coming up with conspiracies, but if his second time doing this, do you think this was planned? No, that's, no. but like, you don't think he told the bodyguard, he's like, punch somebody tonight. <laughs> Our stream, stream views are down. I don't know. Like, w w if you watch this, you can well, He already knows that, like, he's being streamed. I don't think he knows this is I don't fully he, recorded. He doesn't care. I don't oh, so he's just cares. like, yeah. that guy's just an idiot. I think, I think he just is a big dude that just thought, I have an excuse to punch somebody right now. This what? <sighs> but the thing is, the kid that he punched is a lawyer. <gasps> so this, uh -oh. this is all about to go down right now. Uh, I hope he represents himself. Yeah. How can badass? Can you? How badass would like that be? Like something like that, he can? I'm pretty sure if you are a lawyer, though, I don't think it makes you end up looking that good in court. If yeah, you're representing like you yourself, need, it's like, kind of not smart to do, but you can go in and represent I mean, a, yourself. And a, and a lawyer knows a ton of lawyers. So like, it's probably easier for him than anybody to find out. Like, and I think, hey, you want to do a little bit less work. Yeah, you know? exactly. But yeah, this is crazy. But normally wow. like this would happen and nobody like gets it, catches it. Oh, he's open. Oh, okay. He didn't go to the hospital, but apparently he woke up with a massive headache and then had to go to the hospital. Um, Something. Yeah. But I did see a story of the next day of AC posting a selfie with him and he looks fine. He was smiling. So he looked fine. Okay. But like it was still, it's still like that hit, man. I mean, that's. That's, that's not cool. Right there. This happened like right when the party ended, right? Yeah. It was right after. Yeah. Okay. Cause I remember we were upstairs chilling, like in the upstairs living room and Todd is already is like showing me the video and I'm like, oh shit, what is that? Where, when, like, where was that from? He's it like, was happening outside. it just happened right now. I'm like, oh my God. Oh no. The thing is like, if you're a bodyguard, your job is your sole purpose is to protect the person that hired you. Exactly. He's not even looking at what's going on. Yeah, He's it looked like his out, feelings got hurt. And the, 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 the guy gets punched in the background and Jack doesn't even see it happen. What's crazy is that every, I, I remember seeing all the comments on like different TikToks and Twitter and just saying that they were taking the bodyguard side, which is so crazy because not one hand was like laid on him and he just like socked him in the face. You don't deck somebody like that just because they said, something hurtful i don't even know what he said did he what did he say to him that, I, I can't tell from the video at all what, let's call corinna can we get it can we get her, her she get was her right her. there let's get an opinion what i saw like both like leading up to this or something was like jack i think egging it on like trying to get like a three-on-one fight against the bodyguard or something it was like 
you got, I, you, I could take all of you guys. Like, I don't know. It was like, oh, so I they were know. one in combat. Yes, they were. Who the fuck though goes and like seeks that out? That's a crazy person. I mean, there's just people. I mean, there's that's. That's YouTubers for you right there. Uh, good for you, Jack. Uh, D, I know that you're young and you're successful. That's well, that's crazy. That, yeah. He did in this whole situation. This is crazy. This whole situation, when I saw this video, I was like, if this is not cries and mopey from yep. back in the sawgrass days, tell that's it's the exact <laughs> scenario. Jordan, you know who I'm talking about, right? Cries and mopey. I don't know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, we actually talked about this in another episode. Remember they uh, used back to run Sawgrass Mills Mall. There it okay. was this it was this little kid cries my he would wear a Hello Kitty belt, seen <laughs> hair, and he would have his one of his good friends was giant. His name was Mopey, and <laughs> cries would pretty much cause chaos. And it's just your good old fashioned of mice and men story. Yeah, <laughs> and then you ju he would just have Mopey to defend him with all his like everything that he did to people. Mopey would just come and defend it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, that's what I saw in this video. And it was crazy because I didn't think that even existed yeah. anymore. That was wild. Mm -hmm. That kid though got up pretty fast. I, honestly, if I got did. hit, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> just I'd be act out, act dead. dead. I'd be Get out. me nope. the ambulance. I'm not getting up in case the he has another is, one ready for yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. If you nope. stand up, you know he, he's going to want to hit you again. Yeah, he, the kid possum. stood up a little too fast. <laughs> like, like, if you watch it again, he, he goes. Up. Well, there's yeah. I mean, there's <laughs> that a, didn't happen. Yeah, there's a sense of like you don't like you don't want to show people that like. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, like exactly. We 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 all watch UFC. Yes. Honestly, he ate it really well. He did. No, when the, like seeing those glasses fly off, dude, that would oh. be me. And before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Hello Fresh. And if you don't know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a food delivery service where you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. And with holidays right around the corner, HelloFresh can help take the stress out of dinner by delivering everything you need to cook up tasty meals right to your door, and it saves you a ton of time. And we know the holiday season is coming up, and it can be very hectic, and that's why HelloFresh's 15-minute meals come in. These quick fixes help you get a whole wholesome meal on the table in less time than it takes to get delivery. And there's always something new. You can choose from over 45 weekly recipes and over 100 curated picks from the HelloFresh market. Exactly. They can take the hassle out of every mealtime occasion with easy breakfast, quick lunches, and snacks all delivered alongside with your weekly box. So stop going to the grocery store, wasting your time, picking out produce, going home, cooking. You end up throwing most of the stuff away because you overcook or you have to buy in bulk and then you got extra stuff lying around that's just going to rot in your fridge. It's so easy with HelloFresh. So make sure to spend quality cooking time the right way with your best friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, mm -hmm. and aunties, uncles, whoever, by going to HelloFresh.com slash unfiltered free. And use code unfiltered free for free breakfast for life. Free breakfast for life. You're going to get one breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. All you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash unfiltered free and use code unfiltered free. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's episode. And thank you for being America's number one meal kit for us all. We love you. You see, that's why I don't throw parties at my house anymore. Oh, hell no. I it's never want to throw. Worth it. I don't want people. I like to I host want. gatherings. I don't like to throw parties. Yeah. Little, little, little Gettys. Oh, yeah. that's him. Kane Kong. His name's Kang Kong. <laughs> Kang Kong. Nope. Kang Kong. The next night when we went out, we, um, because that was like the, like when I saw that, I was like, oh, I didn't even like, it's crazy that people are like going live at parties. Like I've never really seen that mm -hmm. before. And then the next day we went to the unruly party, which was a, there, it was a line of 2000 people just waiting to get in horrible. It's crazy seeing a line that fucking long and it's not, it's not moving for a good 45 minutes. Not one person has moved up and there's people in the back of the line thinking they're going to get in and party that night. They're spending their whole night just waiting. I was like, I would never, ever spend my time in a yeah, line like yeah. that for multiple hours just to go to a bar and get one drink and then go home right after. Insane. But anyways, we're, 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 we were just, we were just outside of, uh, of the party and we saw maybe, we saw about six different groups all had like cameras like that, they're like, like on live, just, just live streaming with a big group with them just back and forth outside of so the wait, party two live streamers going against two no no live no streamers? just like different groups like okay. there's just so many streamers and i never saw them before and i just saw them all the day after this it's almost like they saw this video and they're just like we got to go out we got to stream 
when do you when, okay, when do you have to go potty? Like if you're streaming, you're like, hey guys, gonna do a bathroom break and like I, I'm gonna like, set you up right here. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, uh, or imagine you're at a party and you just have to go to the bathroom, but the line for the bathroom's so long and you're streaming and you're like, Well, I gotta just like entertain my stream while I'm yeah. waiting imagine in line for the, the bathroom. Because I'm sure they catch a lot of stuff. I know there's on live stream, especially I, if you're going to like influencer parties and stuff. Yo, yeah, you're almost like feeding off the drama. Like you want people to get busted mm -hmm. or say something they didn't mean to say, do something they didn't mean to do. I know, and I know uh, people have deals right now where they have to they have to go live for like multiple, like over 24 yeah. hours. Like people have to stay live for 24 hours. I, I know there's like a few people that have to be live. For like Kick a does, very, very long time. Kick does those big deals where you have to stream like an insane amount of hours every month. I would lose my yeah. mind if I was live. Even going, like Heath and I went live for like, five, like what was it, two minutes the other day? I, I, I was, I was already having a panic attack. Yeah, I, got I don't know what boundaries. it is. I just like, I just feel like I, I want to just zip my. I just don't want to say anything yeah. because I feel like anything I say, you can hold me. Uh, I'll hold me an attempt of, uh, how do you say that? <laughs> what is, what, hold it against me? Line? Hold it against me? No, no. What's that? It's a, Something in a court of law? Yeah, in yeah, a court yeah. of law. It's just like anything I say is just like, it's just out there. Right, right. Can be it's used against scary. you in a court of law. Yeah. I'm just always like worried about going live and like someone is just all the, like everyone's trying to ask a question that I don't want to answer and I'm just acting like I'm not seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, uh, thank you guys so much. Um, and everyone's like, are you not going to address this? Like, That's and funny. For some reason, you just look like the asshole when you don't like um, participate in someone in front of you, like going live and asking you all these questions. Yeah. Like whenever I see paparazzi videos and the person that's being bothered by paparazzi doesn't engage with them, people just like, yeah. Oh, you're too, oh, they're yeah. too good, or, or you can't even like it, it, like that. It it's just a, it's it a lose, pisses lose. me off. It's, it's, lose, it's lose. such a lose lose. It's so. I wish, I wish people like just understood the other person on the other side. It's like nobody wants to fucking answer your questions. I don't know you. It's like imagine somebody just random off the street coming up to you and asking you eighteen questions. Yeah. It's a little like get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just it's, it's crazy. I just would rather like a play a video game or just like I wish I could just do like Wordle and people watch me play Wordle yeah. like that. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Better Help. Ooh, so this time of the year can be a lot, and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it because last year, especially around the holidays, uh, it was rough. Baby, yes it was. And adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings. So therapy could be a bright spot during all the stress and change. You know, like something to look forward to, to make you feel grounded, and to give you the tools to manage everything going on. So if you're looking to try therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And once you're on there, it's super simple. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. And it's better to stop going to your best friend for advice because they're going to tell you exactly what you want to hear. Yeah, I know, Sit I know. Sit with somebody who is a trained professional who's going to give you unbiased advice and it just genuinely wants to help you. And just doing it from the comfort of your own home too. You don't have to sit in some waiting room, mm -hmm. be waited to call on by these guys. Just do it from the comfort. It's, it's just... It, it just feels so, especially during the during the holidays. Yeah, just so baby, warm. bundle up. It's just so, just be good to be like bundle and stuff uh -huh. in your house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. So find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. All you got to do is visit betterhelpcom slash Zane and Heath, and you're gonna get 10 percent off your first month. Yes, one more time, so you don't forget. That's BetterHelp H E L P dot com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this podcast, helping us and everybody listening. Like this I just don't so fucking tight. You can take it <laughs> off. You it's can got take me it thinking off. weird things, man. <laughs> God, and I'm, I just keep doing this. I'm like, you, you girls, you girls have it rough. Like, I just have to keep doing this. Does it feel this itchy when you got hair down no, here? It's like a fake that? wig. <laughs> <laughs> Is that yeah. real hair, Mariah? No, no, I got, it's, it's, no, it's, I got no. it off Amazon for like oh, thirteen that's bucks. Your wig. I thought it was Mariah's wig. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, f I feel like an Italian broad mm. with this <laughs> with this hair. I you feel look, so I feel so raw. It just looks crusty. It, oh, it's, uh, it definitely feels crusty. She also put like hairspray in it to do that. Mm. Mm -hmm. What else happened that weekend? Yeah, Saturday was such a bust for me. I was so tired. I did not want to go out at all. You didn't go I, to any parties. We did, we went to like some the unruly one. No, no, no. We didn't even we didn't even go in. We were just oh. outside of it, and then we went somewhere else, and we were in there. 
Heath, the, y- y- Heath would have lost his mind. The music. So, you know, there's like, there's raves. There's rave music, yeah, right? Yeah. This was this was this was like five steps above rave. Okay. This was just the whole time. It was just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like there was no downtime. It was throughout the whole thing. And as and when it got to like when it was going like you know how it like um the build up it, the build up build up build up build drop. up and then. And then it, it's at its peak. It just never goes down. It just kept going up and up and up and it wouldn't oh, stop. Oh gosh! And it got to the point where like we were just like looking at each other and laughing because it was so, it was like it was vibe. The whole room was vibrating so heavy and it was so loud. No, but people were mm-hmm. hammered. I was completely sober, and um, and I got out of there. I went home and then that was it. The only fun, the only fun thing that happened this weekend was Davis party. I feel like mm-hmm. everything else kind of sucked. I'm not gonna lie. Watching Snoop Dogg perform was pretty awesome. Yeah, like that was insane. That was such a highlight. I feel bad for David honestly because he's gonna have to one up every time he throws a party, and mm-hmm. it's just that sucks. <laughs> like, like what? Who's he gonna get next? Uh, like performance wise, yeah. Like you, you got to get someone either as good as Snoop Dogg. Or you got to go above that. You can't go. You can't like. You can't step back. Do you think we should stay hip hop or we should go a little bit more rock or a little bit more pop? I I think girl pop. Charlie That's XCX, next. Kesha, Lana Del Rey. Imagine that party, Martha Stewart. But Lana, De- what do you think the vibe like? <laughs> like a kind of a beanbag situation. Yeah, that's beanbag. That, that's popcorn. that's a Getty. That's that, there's no party happening with Lana Del Rey. Yeah, a, what do you keep saying Getty for? What do you like mean? A get like together. a Getty, like a get together. Oh, sorry, Florida. Who says that? Wait, what? A that, Getty? Yeah, that's what oh, we yeah, call small a, parties. Have you ever heard that, Mariah? You don't know Ever. about wait a Getty. Yeah, is that bad? Is that offensive? No, it's, I, I don't think it's offensive. It. I don't know, like what kind of vibe. It doesn't like. It means it's it's like laid back. It's nothing big. It's, it's just chill. a little Getty. Okay, just yeah. a little Getty. I actually like it. All right, I'll cool. I'll allow it. It is very Florida sounding. <laughs> and but yeah, a lot of Del Rey thing. Yeah, maybe that's like a Getty. Lord, Lord. Getty. What else? Did it we depends. Say? Lord has to be doing melodrama. If she's doing solar power stuff, get the fuck out. It's, then it's like a Getty. That could be hush. a party. If she did melodrama, it would be pretty fucking awesome it said if you're if you're playing solar power if you're, if you're playing <laughs> solar power just come off stage just drink with us yeah you, you don't need to you're, you're off it's for the so night. good the last supper was a getty that's right yes <laughs> no that's that was exactly that was right. that was a damn good close near to a fucking party jesus was like yo you, you trying to come over we're having a, yeah. just a little getty mm. it's nothing too big <sighs> what you got doing for thanksgiving i'm not going i'm going to alabama and then i'm going to the iron bowl the Iron Bowl. The Iron Bowl. What's that? It's uh, Alabama versus Auburn. They're like two big rivals. Oh, is it a football game? Yeah, it's a big college football game. Oh, oh nice. okay, okay. Is it going to be a danger? Um, I don't know. You, I never <laughs> knew just, that. Like college kickoff times. I'm so dumb. Oh, or I forgot God, about I, it. They I don't announce it until like Dangers. the week, the week of. So we don't know what time of day it's going to be. Are you a danger guy? Yeah, for sure. For sure. If you tell me we have to get up at 9 a.m. and start drinking, I get excited. I just wish, I wish when we day drink. When I, it's allowed, knowing you're having a beer at 9 in the morning and it's allowed and everyone yeah. else is doing it. Oh, what a thrill. What I just, the thing is, I just want it, I want it to end by like 5 p.m. That's okay. Like, then you I don't like that. It, I don't like when we go like, oh, let's wake up and do day drinking. So we go to, so we end the day by six and we all agree. It never ends It early. never ends. It actually makes it even worse. You actually want to stay up even longer at night. The worst and is th- because you'll start getting your hangover at like 7 p.m. and your head starts like pounding. Yeah. And then you, you just got to drink through it. I don't know. I start seeing God when I've just been like going like 12 <laughs> hours in a row. And there's like still five more hours of it. I could, I, I don't know. I, so I sometimes and when like I, and it. When, it's transcending for me. And why, why, why I love day drinking so much. What I love about day drinking is that for some reason, I just, I feel like I find all my wives when I'm what? day drinking. Like when we're out day drinking, I'm just like, that's my future wife. <gasps> yep, that's my future wife. I got you. Only day drinking, but like when I go out at night, I'm just like I, I fucking hate everybody. I want to go home. Good point. Um, Actually, I think they, kind everybody of looks beautiful when you're day drinking. I think yes. you can't everybody see them because it's bright out. <laughs> they, it's not no night. But, no, that I'm saying that. I mean, it should be the opposite. I then. met Patricia during the day. <laughs> You see, like it, you see, love happens when wow. you're. Drunk. I don't think if I ever like saw her at night, I would have like I don't know been in my feels as much as I was in that moment. Yeah. So I think you're onto something, Zane. You should Thank do you. like a little TikTok rant or think piece. 
<laughs> a head piece? A, a think a, piece. A th- oh yeah, sure. A think piece. What the hell is a think piece? Just like uh, like an essay on like that opinion where I think people are more attractive in day drinking. You're more likely to find your future wife in the daytime more than nighttime. Like that's a think piece. I'm gonna I'm gonna come out with like like a workout guide and I'm gonna um, um, put that in put drinking during the day in the workout guide like <laughs> on your like on your like non like on your um uh, on your cheat days yeah drink during the day because then you go home right. early you, you might find your sleep. wife yeah okay because when you have a wife then you're um you're able to um you're able to take care of yourself more because you have somebody to you know there we go and I, I'm gonna write this all in my book box you know what I never understood you know how like it's a big thing like people hide drinking. Uh, from like their spouse yes like alcoholics how do they possibly think that that is a thing that people do hide it what? or what sorry sorry going to drink in the garage they'll like leave a bottle in the yeah, garage yeah they'll have or it like they'll in like, an old laundry detergent like can right, in right how are they not smelling it on you if anybody v- has usually it's vodka in vodka they can't smell you can't smell vodka breath that well i just learned this a couple years ago I feel like you like there. It would be impossible to hide. I I, I yes. I think I know what you mean. That like is people who are consistent alcoholics, you wouldn't be able to tell that they're drinking because you'd be able to smell yeah. it. All. I kind of blacked out on this uh, conversation. What, what was the people, first? What was the first line you people said? People that hide drinking <clears throat> from like their spouse. Like it's like a huge thing. People will like. Oh, you got like, it very well. I can hide that. But really? tequila, yeah. I feel like I'd be able to smell like that. I mean, like, you've been drinking tequila. Yeah, I can tell if a really person bad. comes in and starts talking to me, I can tell that they've been drinking tequila. You know, you can hide very well drinking seltzers. Yeah, seltzers you too. Would never, you would never catch it. You can't even smell it on them. Mm, it's still kind of got that tinge to it. No, there's a movie. Tra- there's a movie called. It, there's a movie called When a Man Loves a Woman, and Meg Ryan is in it, and she's like a huge alcoholic. It's a really sad, depressing movie, and she sneaks drinking all the time. She has like. Uh, you know, fifths in her drawers, in the closets, in the laundry room, all of that. And she, when she finally gets caught, busted drinking, the husband's just like, I just didn't know. She's like, well, I drank vodka. And, and then I remember like, hey, Patricia, I go, what does that mean? I feel like you'd be able to smell it. And Patricia goes, no, when like alcoholics like drink vodka, like you can't smell it or something. You like know that. what? It's re- what's really hard to hide wine, but teachers love to drink it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got mine sneaking, fired When for they're sneaking it. alcohol at school. Is, wine though, why, like is wine just a better drunk for I, women? I love wine. I love good wine and gossip. Get a little charcuterie board out. When I drink Old wine, fr- I feel evil. <laughs> oh, I, f- I oh, feel you're pl- sassy you start and evil. plotting. You oh, start I'm plotting. plotting when I'm wa- yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why. That's why I try to avoid it. Wine is very gossipy. Oh yeah, yeah. and it's also just the act Did of you pouring hear, and like, sharing. Yeah. Like, like Todd, Todd is dangerous on wine. Yeah, well, when he's when he's wine drunk. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh, he'll be talking. <laughs> wine is just so communal. It's so fun because like you're all like drinking from like, you know, the same bottle and it's being shared. The same it's, body of Christ. Yeah, yeah. There's something holy about wine too. Yes. Because I know like people like drink it at church, you know, the the, yeah. <clears throat> the blood and body of Christ, but like you do feel somewhat holy when you're drinking it just like anywhere outside of a church. But the Why? thing is, is like you never, you would never go up like at a bar and be like, can I have a glass of wine, please? I feel like a lot I of have to be do. sitting at a table. I have to have it be served wine. I'll never only, go up to well, a bar going, give yeah. me, give me a, a glass of if wine. If the bar is made out of wood, you're not ordering wine. If you're at a bar and this, the, the setting is all woody, you're not getting a glass of wine. But if it's a, if it's a nice <laughs> bar, then okay, you're, you're I, like, I want a glass of wine. Okay. Yeah. I see. Wait, no, <clears throat> no, if, no, no. If the bar is lit, is lighting up and I'm seeing colors coming out of the bar, <laughs> I'm not getting a glass of wine. No, you're no, not getting that, an espresso martini. You're not getting a wine. You're getting, you're getting a, uh, you're getting a whiskey and Coke. Yeah. That's what you're getting. <laughs> wine is only ordered at a dinner. Cause it pairs well with meal. I, yeah, I agree with you. I've I never, think un- I never, you have to be munching that. on something while having wine. If you're just drinking like wine raw, walking around the club, right? bumping <laughs> into people. <laughs> with that red like like oops like <laughs> yo todd on the dance floor with a glass of wine is a menace <laughs> bro, he, that wine is everywhere that shit is so funny 
and he should, always he should put his wine in a he flask. always does it with a white shirt too and it, it is just, just goes oop <laughs> 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 that's so funny bring him in here Todd <laughs> he comes in with a bottle of wine I, uh, what I want is a, you know what I'm gonna do next episode mm-hmm. or no not next episode I have to wait till after this fucking diet I wanna do um, uh, what is that grape juice with a vodka drink Oh, a transfusion? transfusion. Oh, I love transfusions. I want to. I want. I want to just start drinking that every time mm-hmm. we go out. Patricia loves making those. But if you get sugar free grape, yeah, is there sugar free grape grape juice? Yes. Yes. Love me some transfusion. It's a big golfer's drink. That was the first time yeah. I had it. Patricia was the first person that showed me transfusion. It's a good pool drink though, too. Yes. Like good I don't know. Time. Yeah, I don't think like if you go up to a bar and go, "Can I have a transfusion?" They're gonna be like, "What are you talking <laughs> about?" Like, what? Oh, is that not a? Th- Oh, no, they're they not have having Welch's grape juice back there. They have I, like, maybe. I think they, they should have grape juice uh, more than cranberry juice. I agree. I never understood cranberry juice. Get grape juice. People like the tartness of the cranberry juice, though, because mm. it helps pair well with alcohol. I, I think guess. that's right. I guess. Mm hmm. Do you guys ever We were think, talking about so much alcohol on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever think alcohol will ever just be illegal again? I think it should at be. At some point? I, I think it should be. No. No, I don't think so. Maybe in certain states. No, not not anytime soon. Just like in, I'd say, two hundred years. If like go back alive. to the prohibition. If if, if, if people I are think the here, penalty yeah. of like, you know what? I don't really know, Zane. I don't know. Isn't it weird that we can say yes to one thing but no to others? Like how so? Go on, expand this. Like a few years ago, weed no, alcohol yes. Cocaine, no. Alcohol, yes. Whatever it is, like, yeah. I I think everybody can agree that things are bad for you, but why are some allowed? Like, it's such because, a because. Weird- well, I mean, I what you're saying is a great point. Yes, I think there's like a frustration with like uh, uh, the choices like, of what is allowed and what's not right. allowed. It, Correct. Do you yeah, like why? Be- like why is alcohol and heroin's not? Right. Well, because I, people, like, why? there's studies that have been done. It's gateway drugs. It makes it destructive for communities. People believe that, like, it would ruin more of the general population. Maybe alcohol is destructive. Have, have you seen my compilation on videos heroin. on have YouTube? You, have you seen our families? Have you seen Zana <laughs> Jazzy drunk for 20 minutes on YouTube? <laughs> you tell me that's not destructive. I think you kind of want a heroin to be illegal, though. Why? Because it would cause more people to be addicts to it. All right. Not good enough. <laughs> no, no, no. I, it just increases like the access to it, and the more odds of people getting addicted. Yeah, to it. no. There's there the certain things where it's just really bad to uh, break that habit too for heroin. Like to me, like weed. The fact that weed is being so legal, right? So legal. It's like I think that should have been legal a long time ago. They should have known that weed is like so much better for you than alcohol is. Correct. Sorry, it's his, pan, it's his pants and wig. Just <laughs> my <yeah>. fucking stoner vibes. <laughs> it's weird. Bro, let's go into the high episode right now. Let's do it. I do want to start trying edibles to go to sleep. I want to see if it works. Dude, get the El Camino sleep ones are awesome. Because it's THC and the CBD. Five milligrams. Take those. Ooh, do it like an hour before you go to bed. Cruise right D- up to It sleep. doesn't knock you off for too long, right? Like I'm not getting up at 1130 in the next day. No. Okay. No. What time do you usually go to bed? Mel- like melatonin. That melatonin will, can, that will knock me out like well melatonin you build like a tolerance to and it can actually like fuck up your sleep cycle yeah and i heard it's like just not good for you in general melatonin no i like the el camino sleep gummies they're really good okay i'm gonna get some crack open a good little book get off your phone because yes. my only thing though when you're on thc and you're trying to go to bed suddenly everything's so interesting when you're high and i'll go down whole rabbit holes on my phone being like that's fascinating that's fascinating that's it's crazy because my phone is the last thing i want to be on when i'm high Really? Last thing I want to be. I don't like going on social media, or I don't like going on Instagram. I don't like looking at people I know. (laughs) I think just people just start looking weird, and like (laughs) people are like, or like you're going by like the worst is when you get on Instagram, and it's like, oh my gosh, the post like it's all stuff you have to comment on, or like it's like your best friend's birthday, or it's like your best friend just had a baby. Like, oh, I should comment. You know oh, what I oh, mean? You see, for me, that's like, when I'm drunk. It feels like, it, okay, wait. So you get drunk and then you start go start commenting but on that's people. But I'm it's like, the worst it, when I'm just like, like sitting, quickly like, checking it. I'm like, oh shit, this is something I have to respond right. to. Right. 
I gotta ex express my enthusiasm for this person. I've been really good with not interacting with any posts lately. We like should it. interact with our friends though. I, I do I do like, so I, that's only if it pops up on my feed, right? A lot, like a lot of your guys' posts don't even pop up on my feed. Yeah. I don't know, it's just, just, just not there anymore. I see everybody else's but yours and I see a lot of people I don't even follow on my feed. That's still a thing on my feed. Thank you should you. comment too. You yeah. know, a comment could go a long way. Like, sometimes there's sometimes where like I don't like a certain filter. I'll still like it. You know what I mean, Matt? <laughs> you something you post, your smile not the best. You're still, I'm still, you're still like using it. I'm filters. Still gonna support <laughs> Mariah. Your dance moves sometimes not the hottest, but I'm gonna fucking like it still. You know, it's good mm, to be supportive to other good. people. That's we good. are influencers. We are creators. Mm. <laughs> this wig is on too tight. My man is venting. <laughs> you need to vent that cap. I need a glass of wine. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, ShipStation. The holidays are the busiest time of the year. Don't get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Let ShipStation do the heavy lifting so you and your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or color, they still have a great experience. And whether you're shopping from your house or multiple warehouses, ShipStation can increase your holiday profitability by so much, mm -hmm. more, so much more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That profitability is going to skyrocket once you start. Put that profitability right back into your pockets. Yes, easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders and returns in one simple dashboard. And you can quickly and easily update your crucial order information and reduce errors. And it's super convenient. You can sell it wherever online you can sell on Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and so much more. And ShipStation is going to manage your orders, print labels, compare rates, optimize every shipment, and automate delivery notifications. Automate returns and offer custom smart recommendations for exchanges to keep customers happy. ShipStation also has industry-leading discounted rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post. And with over 130,000 companies that have scaled their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation, 98% of those companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So let your customers shop risk-free this holiday season with ShipStation. All you got to do is go to ShipStation.com and use code UNFILTERED today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. Exactly. That's ShipStation.com and use code UNFILTERED. Thank you so much, ShipStation, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. <laughs> Did you guys hear about the restaurant in Central Florida that um, they put a, a bad parent fee on the, on, on the, on the bill for, pe for uh, parents that don't take care of their kids or that don't control their kids at restaurants? So if their kids oh. are being they too charge them, They charge them a, a bad parenting fee. How much is the fee? Is it a percentage or well, like a flat fee? Well, there's no, so it says it on the bottom of the bill. The restaurant was saying they haven't really, they haven't really they charged haven't anybody yet, but that's just to avoid good. People, well, which I agree with, but I, apparently it said, apparently it was a storm. Everybody was uh, judging it saying that's, that's discriminatory to parents. I'm like, bro, the kids, thing is kids, they're probably not suck. even, at, they're not even ever going to right. use it. But exactly. by putting but, it out there yeah. as like a way of like conversating and, and making, being aware of it, people are less likely to but yeah, uh, fam, like there, there's, 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 there's like fathers uh, being interviewed. They're like, we're not coming as a family. I'm offended. We're not going to come here. I was like, okay, that's exactly who he's trying to avoid is people, people like you. Kids. See and, you then, later. And, and then an old dude gets interviewed. He's like, honestly, I drove him an hour and a half away. I love this new rule. That's why I came all the way out. <laughs> he's like, I love it. I, feel, oh, like, I, think I feel like it'll make people more aware. Yeah. yeah. Just like if, if your kid is screaming and running around the restaurant, maybe it, like you, and you think about that, you don't want to be charged. Oh, right. and they have a sense of humor. Their password for their Wi-Fi is silly beans. Oh, oh you see. So, oh, so it's all a joke. Yeah. It's, it's all, all a joke. Well, it's just like they have a bit of attitude, a bit of personality yeah. at the place. I don't mind that. I'm all for it. That, I'm not going to lie. That's, not, shit, that's yeah. some shit I would do. That's what? something I would do. <laughs> this like quote, have that. Yeah. If you have Just children, to... avoid this place at all costs. <laughs> okay. I was. I love a, the rule. I was at a Fazoli's when I was a kid, and there was an older couple, and they came over and talked to me and my friends. Like my parents were sitting at another table, all of us kids were sitting at one, and they go, "Where are your parents? We want to talk to them." And we're like, "They're right over there." And they go over to my parents and go, "These kids talking all night, so loud." Get and my mom was like, You heard all how old are you? Oh, I was probably like seven, eight. I just oh. remember I was out of Fazoli's and these old people were very upset. 
with me and my friends. And uh, yeah, and my parents were like, well, thank you very much. You have a good night. And was just like, What's but so you know what? It's a fucking Fazoli's. People. Go have fun yeah. at a Fazoli's. This isn't like uh, <laughs> a Morton Steakhouse or something, you know? It's, so, it's, it's crazy how... Like the timeline with like when you when you're like when you when you start from a kid to being old, I feel like your your maturity level goes from here and then it goes right back down. Not maturity level. It's more like like if those if those old people were like a, like average age adults, th they wouldn't be they wouldn't say anything. They wouldn't care. Old, they, no, right. old people don't give a shit anymore. And is it they, is it they don't give a shit or is, is it unaware? Like no, what is they it? They just don't care. They've lived life <laughs> for so long that they're just like I will say whatever I'm thinking and feeling in this moment, and they don't care if it offends you, upsets you. They just become kind yeah. of or they just want some sense also. Of control at the same time but they want to feel validated that they're like because you got you respect your elders do whatever yeah. the elders say just like it's a fucking fazoli's i don't even know what a fazoli's is yeah I've he keeps saying it. it like it's, oh, it's like it's an applebee's yeah. dude fazoli's kind of hits even though they like all went out of business it's like fast food italian i'm so sorry mariah did, did that like offend you a little bit yeah i think i'm having a heart attack but it's like basically like your typical like cheap pizza. you know like if you like have like a pizza place and they have like pastas on the menu they're not like gourmet pastas but they're like really good like quick pastas yeah so there's like baked ziti it's like it's like a bunch of like hot foods oh my god it's I pretty that. damn fucking good oh boy get, i don't know i'm just trying to get sentimental sometimes i've been like with my memories i feel like i've known all the things but if i sometimes sit on things further i can re remember even more mm -hmm. things Sometimes I get worried about like one day I'm gonna lose all my memories, and so I need to like I'm, I think I'm think with there. my thoughts a little bit more because I can't tell you what happened like a year ago, two years ago. No way. Past couple years have been really a blur. I really start journaling. Yeah, do but it. But not like do twenty like minutes typical, in the morning. Like very sum like summarized, like very very summarized. Very journaling. summarized, but also I guess detailed to where it's like things that I would want to remember. Yes. Not like little, I woke up today. I no. did, like just like the moments that mattered. Right. Because I feel like I, like you said, I, I don't Sometimes remember. I'm trying to write down like memories that hit me one day and I'm like, next time yeah, I like hang out with my stuff. parents, I'm going to be like, hey, do you guys remember this day? Because I've already written down like a little bullet of like this weird memory that yeah. finally pops in my head. Like I love writing down that stuff to bring up to my parents later on because I like the blowing that, them away with my, what I remember. My dumbass would do like bullet points as a journal. I'd put like, we went to <laughs> we went to Lazy Dog and like I would put nothing to that. <laughs> and then I would, right. I would go back to my notes and be like, oh my God, I have stuff to talk about. Guys, remember when we went to Lazy Dog <laughs> two years ago? It's like, yeah, well, what happened? <laughs> I didn't write anything else after that. But then after we went to get coffee. And so funny. I do have a couple of, quotes written down yeah, oh yeah. i want you to publish this one day please <laughs> funny things that the friends say i have written in like notes oh my gosh but I, some of them are for... so old that the, there's no context and i just like i'm so curious what we were talking about most of them are zane so i can just read a few oh, of, a few of those if you're not funny then what are you <laughs> <laughs> okay that's deep that's like it's that, very that's deep. like it's like aristotle like, i'm gonna get that tattooed that. on me i have some jordan ones Jordan, I want my next girlfriend to be a hibachi chef. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Oh, and then Jordan, you followed that up with, she's homeless, but she's a hibachi chef. That like <laughs> one to 10 thing. Zane, What's weird is, never mind. you were eating something and you said, this tastes like someone would be allergic to it. <laughs> <laughs> I That's know really exactly, good. I know exactly where we were at. This is like going back and reading your Facebook post from like, yeah. Yeah. Where you're yeah. like I don't even remember having that thought. Yo, I've been Looking deleting some of mine. Not saying any of mine were bad, but I'm just like, Cringy. shut yeah. up, man. What was I doing? Like, tr like, ooh. Jason goes, oh, they're building a railway here. And Zane goes, oh, I thought it was a train. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, this is, this is you. Thank you. Oh, shit, I called you Zane. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember that <laughs> happening. The waitress goes, everything good? And Zane was like, so good. And she walked away and he spit out a rubber band <laughs> <laughs> that he found in his food. <laughs> 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 oh, Matt, we have, one, we have a couple for you. Uh, I I Scott said, Patricia said you like cherry. 
And Matt goes, oh, yes, I'm more of a mango slut, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about uh, white, uh, white claws? White Definitely. Yeah. I, that's something I totally said. This is also logical, Matt. You have to talk with girls, not at them. Mm, <laughs> I know who Facts. you're talking about. <laughs> Zane, we have an image to hold look. <laughs> we have an image to hold look. We have I remember an image this. to hold look. I remember you saying that. I said, didn't you buy that nail polish that makes you not bite your nails? And then he goes, yeah, but it didn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to bring up something real sad. What? The death of Matthew yeah. Perry. Oh my. Friends cast yeah. member. I'm chiming in. Yeah. Coming on I'm, this I'm one. Shuts her laptop. Yeah, there's a there's a few people in our friend group that are big, big, big fans of the and show. I'm one of them. Yeah. Right, he's one of them. Chandler Bing was my crush when I watched Friends when I was younger. Really? And now people tell me that Keith and I are like Chandler and Monica. And I was oh. like, Oh, I found my Chandler. Oh, mm. I didn't watch it, but you're my Monica. I found. Aww. Okay. Monica was funny, and she <laughs> okay. and she cleaned all day. Okay. So oh, I know right. that. I know that. Pretty spot on. Um, yeah, he's like was actually like an incredible actor. It felt like he improved the entire show. Mm -hmm. Like so good, so so good. I see, and I see a lot of comments of people saying like that would like they felt like he was just really being himself on the yeah. show. Like that was like truly his character. I think that's why it was so good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's sad. Terrible. It, it, it's just like, <clears throat> don't come for me. It's uh, it's crazy how eerie like his last few posts were. It's crazy how that happens. Yeah, yeah when know. people pass and then you just look at their last few posts, you're like, wh why does it like all chain up like that? And it's there's just an, so weird. There's an episode where Monica jokes about him drowning. It's just but crazy. People did have a point because when I watched that, I was like, yes, that's very eerie, but. He would have found that funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? He had posted in the hot tub before it happened, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was something. Yeah. It was a poor hot tub. Yeah. Had he been, so uh, had he been in recovery for his addiction? I Apparently like, he's was, been, he he was went, good for like a year. He went year. sober. Yeah. yeah. Cause like last year when they were like interviewing him and he was always, he, he had done tons of appearances talking about yeah. his addiction over the past year. And, it's so sad, especially like people who battle addiction. I mean, it shit's not easy at all. And it's really tough for these people who are also public figures. Yeah. And they have to go out there and mm -hmm. tell the whole world because the whole world is constantly wants to know what you're up to and where you are in your recovery because it's suddenly all of their business. And it's so much pressure and so much weight to to hold that up and give it to people and then also still at the same time still be closeting, like battling it because you you the fear of going back off the horse because of your like this public and figure, you know, everybody's going to talk about haunts your like, brain yeah. a little bit more, and so you start making more secrets with yourself. And that was a huge thing Matthew Perry talked about as well. I believe was how bad like secrets that we keep to ourselves and hiding our own addiction away from other people. Yeah, and it just it's so sad he finally became a victim to it. And I bet did he have friends over that night? I read. And people like left him and they were like, you're good. And he's like, yeah, I'm fine. You guys can go without me. So people like were there with him that night wow. and left him in the hot tub. And they said there was like, they found nothing around him. Like, no, he, yeah, he there's just, no he just there in the tub signs of foul play. It's, it's yeah. really sad. And it's, he touched so many people's lives and brought them so much joy, which, you know, yeah. at the same time warms your heart, the more you think about it, but it's just one of those people where it's like it's will still it will always feel weird that they're no longer there. Yeah, and it's same sad thing as like Robin Williams. He, he just like he struggled, like mm -hmm. his life was not easy for him. Yeah, which is so sad. It's terrible. Sucks the pressure of fame and all that money. You think? Yeah, I was thinking about Robin Williams as well when this oh. happened. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, and I've been reading Anthony Bourdain's book Kitchen Confidential. I've been loving it, and that one I've also been like. You know, racking yeah, my, was... my brain about where I'm just like, how is this guy, I'm reading his own words, seeing how colorful of a world and how he viewed things, how deep his human, his love for the human experience was that he would have taken his own life. Some people believe that he didn't take his own life, but uh, it just struggles. It, 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 it's so hard to wrap your mind around when people like leave. And especially when people who you don't even know. You don't yeah. even know them, but because of the joy and love that they've given us through their acting, their art, whatever they put out into the world, we feel like we do know them. And that's why I think it is, it's good 
to talk about it because we're all grieving in weird ways when it comes down to somebody like that. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't that big of a Friends fan, but yeah, Matthew Perry. The guy at the at Central that worked at Central Perk, he also recently passed away. Oh. But he passed away. So people are, this is really sweet. Somebody made this and it says, Gunther says, want to go get some coffee. And then Chandler says, sure, where? Which is his last line on Friends. Oh, really? Oh. Serious, yeah. Um. It's sad, and I bet they are like the entire cast of that oh that whole God. team. I, I, it's probably really sucks because I mean, you know, it's it's gonna be really difficult because yeah, people fall out of love and connections. That group they had great times together, massive success, and at the same time, they also grew apart from one another. They're yeah. not as like close and best friends like they were together, mm -hmm. and that really has to probably eat at you, knowing that someone who you were so close with. And they do succumb to like their own battles. Yeah. And then all we, a person does sometimes it's tend to blame themselves yeah. thinking, oh, if I only just stepped in, if I really started caring and all that, but at the same time, you have to still be kind to yourself. This person was battling their own thing. It's not your fault that they're no longer with us, but just, yeah. I hope they find grace in their grieving in, in their mourning because nobody knows how to grieve. Nobody knows how to. You never know how you will when the moment happens. Yeah. Some people can make you hurt deeper than others you didn't expect. Um, um, oh, who's that character again in the middle? Joey. Joey, what's he up to? I feel like I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, he's actually still acting, doing stuff. Yeah, he's still doing stuff. Yeah, I feel like he was just because I show. see I see uh, the other one. I feel like I see him Matt in like LeBlanc. some big shows. Yeah, Matt LeBlanc and... Oh, okay. I've seen him. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Mm. Oh, we're going to get old. I Why always wonder... Saying, don't do that. I always wonder what I'm going to look like. Oh, I'm still excited about getting old. I think so. It's just... It's so funny. We're all going to look at each other when we're older. Like, when we're like 60 and just be like, damn, didn't... <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. Yeah, but it's you, just gonna be funny. No, no, it's gonna be funny. Just one day we're all gonna look at each other when we're yeah, like 50, I think 60 people, and just be like, damn, we look different. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. I think it people get old when you haven't not seen them in a long, long time. Like nor have like looked at them in a long, long time. I think some people like if you see them pretty often, mm -hmm. their their appearance of aging. Like you guys still look the same to me. Oh, baby, I, I'm gonna look. But like when I'm we watch for the rest of my life, when we watch vlogs, <laughs> you know I mean? though, I'm like, yeesh. <laughs> it's always like when I look at my younger self. Or, I mean, well, I, mean I mean, I'm not I gonna feel like we look so much younger in the video. You, yeah. you always look the same to me, but then going back and looking like a few years ago, you yeah. look totally different. Yeah, it's wild. But then again, like Heath and I, not to toot our own home horn, but we looked like 45. You guys are aging we, backwards. We are aging backwards. Yeah. It kind of, it kind of was yeah. a, a a good thing and a benefit to us that we looked so, so disgusting bad. in our early 20s. Yeah, and like disgusting really is not even the right our, world. It was just we looked like we were run down, beat. rotting. Yeah. And it it gave us room to grow. Yeah, you know if you start give us top, a the time to shine. If you baby. start at the top, you you can't get better. Mm -hmm. You know you're mm -hmm. gonna get worse, and people will notice that. But if you start down here, so we're gonna and you work your way up. We're gonna look like we're gonna look like Brad Pitt and uh, okay. Ryan Gosling <laughs> and Ryan Gosling when we're sixty. Come you on, know? baby. Ew, just like. <laughs> Boy. Well, here's the thing, Heath. <laughs> the things that we were putting ah! in our bodies every single day. It's crazy. It's our, crazy. Our diet, was, our diet was wild, Dude, huh? It's crazy the life we lived and how we... I was, but you know what, Heath? We loved our, We loved it, though. You remember we, we were just talking about like how nice it was to day drink? Mm -hmm. I, day, I day drunk every day. Yeah, you you a, were? You oh, yeah, things. like on the weekdays? No, at Denny House, I was, I was drunk every day, all day. God, I fucking love those days, though. I miss those cigarettes coming over. Chain Insane. smoking. Having the Coronas. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of our charm. We're good. We're good. We can. Oh, yeah. Let's. Okay, then let's do the wind down. Can we? Do we do <laughs> Ew. Look at us. What is that? <laughs> what oh, is Zane. that? Oh, Zane. What is that? Zane, you he have he, he look good. Zane, I don't know. What. <laughs> I have chops. You have sideburns that wrap <laughs> here. Another you were in picture. shorts on a red carpet, Zane. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell that yeah. One. No, no, no. Go down. Go down. Go, uh, go down. Right there on the right. That one is amazing. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> Damn, we look like old Hollywood DJs. Like we're we're still trying to trying to make it so bad. And it's crazy. Why am I flexing? Why are we pointing at each Why other? Why am I flexing? Why are in that? Dude, y'all, y'all, y'all <laughs> <laughs> millennials. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like definitely look like millennial. No, no, creators. this Matt, this look. Matt, Matt, Matt. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are? What hey, are, hey Brian. <laughs> oh, or. <laughs> what's what's oh, like? The, I've done that. I there's one. There's an Instagram picture on my page. Uh, for it. <laughs> what's the what's the Gen Z poses? Like, I don't know. They're just like laughing and being as candid as they can. Yeah, I know. I don't think there's bad no, Gen Z like, poses. No, I feel like they're like what this stuff. Or I don't know. Yeah, that no, that, and that's and they're not like posting that on Instagram. I feel like that's more like. Snapchat they're sending to one another. See on the wow. MTV red carpet. Wow. Wait, go up, go up. That the one is the hat. worst. <laughs> that that's the worst picture of us I think we've ever had on the internet. <laughs> See, just the peace sign. <laughs> he, what were we thinking? <laughs> we matched that. We got together what and went that? shopping and said, "Let's <laughs> coordinate our outfits." They're like, "Okay, thank you." <laughs> Bro, you know I it. It, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We thought we were hot shit when we walked on there, and I know all the camera guys were just like, uh. <laughs> "Go, go to the other one from this." Oh god, yeah, yeah y'all look like y'all like or like a reggaeton, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're from like Guadalajara, Mexico. <laughs> Like, oh, are these the sons of the Los Lonely Boys? <laughs> yeah, let's c close right, we gotta it. Do the, the wine. Wine. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we post the audio every single Monday on Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen. And then the video every single Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. And you can check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, where we have bonus episodes, high and drunk episodes. We got the unwind episodes where we leave the cameras rolling for the 20, 30 minutes and we keep the podcast going. So right now, after this episode, we're going to keep it going, baby. And we're going to keep it going all night long. We're going to get naked. We're going to get crazy. We're going to get drunk. All of that for $5 a month. If you go to www. Patreon.com slash Zane and he. It is the best Patreon, guys. I'm. Thank you, Matt. Like it is even, so much fun. Even even Matt pays five dollars a month, and he doesn't even need to. That's how good it That's is. That's right. So make sure to subscribe and join the family, and you get everything in the archive once you buy mm -hmm. it. Everything. <sighs> Is there, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Let's jump right, into cool. it. All right, we'll jump into it. We love you guys so much. Thank you. Um, uh, the room is a process. We we we're trying to figure out the vibe. We're trying to figure out what the what the hell we want. So, yeah, we see you guys. We'll see you guys next week. We love you so much. I think I'm drunk. Toodaloo. Bye. Peace Bye. and blessings, baby.